it's time for you to see what it's in what's in it it's you content warning this is a horror game thank you <laughs> i didn't notice that when i buy it okay so sorry the princess a game that i have been looking forward to play since october of last year when I first saw it um, as a recommendation for me for Steam. Not sure what to expect about the game. I know this is a supposedly horror story, like a visual novel thingy. I don't need to have we have to run shoot or anything like that. But I um, haven't seen any gameplays of it. So I'm really not sure what to expect. So let's go for a new game. Chapter 1. The Hero and the Princess. Ooh. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Why? Oh, well. <laughs> the end of the world? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. It's predicting my questions, and it's kind of weird, man. <laughs> but how can a princess lock up away in a basement and the world? Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, Mame Cultus wants to do want the world to end, so yeah. I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? My evil guys. Uh, not sure. Okay, look, this looks like. Look, I'll go to the cabin, I'll talk to her, and if she's a bad, as you say she is, maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything until I have the chance to meet her face to face. Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But. Yeah. A word of warning. <laughs> if you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to yeah, her right. words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. We'll see, man. We'll see, narrator. And each and every one of us is doomed. Again. So sure. Go. Talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. I will. I will talk to her. You make I don't trust you. You make short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. In the basement, We're not going right? to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Wait, the, the actual character has a voice. That's cool. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll proceed. <laughs> okay, this is getting interesting. Not gonna lie. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. My hand changing into a little dagger. You see in the, the cursor? Let's go into the basement. The door Interesting to the so basement far. creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Who locked her up here? Her voice carries up the stairs. 
and it's getting creepy. Who's there? I. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Okay. Hi. <laughs> man, it's predicting my choices. It's... Man, it's weird. I'm going to continue. I don't want to say anything. I just want to continue. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? We're gonna we're gonna Focus see it. on the task at hand. Shut up, narrator. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Technically. I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it, and then we can chat? She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Exactly what I was thinking. Don't you dare. Narrator. It's Come fine. On. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. It's true. <sighs> I'm drop it. I'm gonna drop the blade. I'm sorry. If this is gonna get me killed, that's fine. Um, I don't want to kill someone without knowing what the hell is going on. <sighs> the blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Okay. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Sounds so menacing. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face, unarmed. Thank you, narrator. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Okay. So many options. There's people out there who thinks you're going to end the world. What did you have to say about that? Don't just tell her that. You didn't tell me that she didn't knew about it. <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world, I think. Okay, that th those eyes are getting creepy, man. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If question. I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? You got some explanations to do on that, Raider. Come on. Man, her face is getting, like... creepy. I mean, I was inclined to trust her until she get, she gave me, like, that creepy smile. Um... No, but I'm sure they have their reasons to keep that information secret from me. That sounds kind of... God of all you know, for my part. I was hoping you'll tell me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. I believe her. Uh, Hero, shut up. Uh, <laughs> I don't believe her so far. It's, it's getting creepy. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Oh, narrator, okay. Uh, so how did you know she's gonna end it? At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Yeah. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. 
So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? She's right about one right. thing. Her word isn't worth anything. All right, her. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person, and a subjugating monarch, no less. Yeah, she's not helping her case, right? What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness, or uh. her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Come on. Okay, we have to talk enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Crap. <laughs> it sounds creepy as hell, man. I don't like it. Ah, oh, chat. Ah, uh, shit. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Um. I mean, she hasn't done anything so far that is like menacing. She's just has like a tired attitude and maybe that's because she's been locked up in the basement for so long although we don't know how long it has been because she doesn't give us a straight answer and the narrator i mean she's he's talking about risk and uh, she's talking about trust and we don't know neither of them so i'm not really sure what should we do so let's go a little bit uh for a gut feeling and I'm going to try to free her, and let's see what the narrator does about that. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Yeah. Okay. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Are you talking? Are you talking? Are you telling the truth, or are, you're just trying to dissuade me to make her to free her? I'm guessing you don't have the key. Of course not. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. No, upstairs there is anything. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas? Well, you do have that big, sharp knife. You could always cut me out of here. She what? speaks with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. Hero, shut up! You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. What? Is someone else here? You try the, the door, but it's locked from the outside. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. You assholes. Hey, let Your me out of here. and pleas are met with silence. I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. I'm going you make downstairs. Your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Yeah. Easier for everyone. Okay. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yeah. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. I, I, I'm going to save her. I'm sorry. Um, I don't trust anyone around here, and they lock me up here. Just as they lock her, so 
Perhaps together we can get out. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. And we're cutting the bone cut Ugh. into her flesh. And she's not even blinking about it. That's ominous. The blade is sharp, and you make quick work of it. Before Dude. long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Now we're scared. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. And the the, the cursor, the knife, it's now bloodied. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. What are you? No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. Why are you going to- As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. He's taking control of Wait, me? This isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Fucking narrator. And that's it. Okay, warn her. Stop yeah. that. Shut up. I thought this was a little too easy. Oh, man. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. No, oh, you're taking away my body and you're... Um, getting me in here with her until I kill her. But yeah, she's... Oh, man. I'm going to resist to the end. I mean, I want to see what happens if I just the resist. Blade. Move. The. Blade. Make me. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'll make this quick. It's gonna kill me, man. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. Maybe. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Wait, look at my hand. The narrator took like possession of me and now I look like a monster uh, of course I, I knew I wa this was gonna get me killed but I wanted to see what happens remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground blood flowing from your butchered neck Shit. this is the <laughs> end isn't it yes hero yes, I'm afraid it is. it is everything goes dark and you die I hope it was worth it I want to know what happens Chapter 2, The Prisoner. Wait, what? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here hey? to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Okay, so I, I think I know what's going on. Like, I know what happened in the, my previous like cycle of whatever. Um, I mean the deja vu is funny, but um, oh you bastard! You're in, the, you're in it for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. My tricks? What on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here, for us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. Now we're not a hero, now we're a skeptic. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. What? <laughs> That's great. Okay, so we are now, we have now a skeptic voice and a hero voice. And of course, the narrator. You know I can hear you two, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. And as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large? 
I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. You haven't told us how or why? Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did ha already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge yes. you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Thank you. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Yeah. The absolute irony. Well, that's one way to put it, I guess. Yep. You really don't remember what happened last time, do you? You practically forced the princess to kill us. That doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd do. Which is honestly all the more reason for you to not buy into whatever self-delusions the three of you are crafting. <sighs> but this is a thought experiment, so I suppose I'll continue to give you the benefit of the doubt. If I did practically force the princess to kill you, it was probably for a good reason. Did you try and free her? Did you say something really mean to me? Because if I really did what you said I did, you probably deserved it. I'm a professional. Professional, you're sure right. You are. Now I'm the skeptic. <laughs> anyway, I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? If you're Shut asking up. that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. At least so far. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence free to me. Thank you, hero. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? This is gonna be a mind fog, right? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would. What a conveniently ambiguous group of things for her to ruin. For all we know, the princess left the cabin and never saw another soul. Yeah. Oh, how I wish that were the case, but if the princess weren't a certain inevitable threat to the world, the four of us wouldn't be here. And yet, here we are. You're talking in circles. No, I'm talking in facts. Shut up. Let's talk about the princess. Just be quick about it. Yeah. We're in the basement. What is this place? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. Yeah. Is he trying to trick us? I, th I feel like he's trying to trick us, like... Oh, I don't know. I didn't know we were special. Hero, shut up. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Uh, yes. Right. We're here because we're special. And I, I, I hate having to align with the, the skeptic here. Look, you're annoyed that you're here. I get it. I'm also annoyed that I'm here. But we're all in this together, and we're dealing with a bit of a ticking clock right now, so please, just get to the cabin. You're being cagey. Why aren't you telling me? I like that one. I, I, I need information to be able to, you know, do my thing. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. You're right. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to trust me here. I 
Okay, that's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Yeah, right. Oh, turn around and leave. I want to see the princess again. I want to see my bodies oh, in the cabin. Before you go any further. Yeah. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Yes, okay. yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Did you just say wink out loud? <laughs> no, I didn't. Wink. Just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. Okay. Uh, let's go to the cabin. See the blade? The interior of the cabin is less a cozy woodland retreat and more like a dungeon. A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. I've been changed. This is getting interesting, man. The only furniture of note is an iron table, bolted to the floor, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Definitely did not. Does a mirror not count as furniture of note to you? Because it should. There isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. What? There's definitely a mirror. Yeah, ex there exactly. Not Raider, are you blind, insane, or what? I think you know what we have to do. Man, I want to look at the at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. Okay, now that's. Oh man, I want. I'm getting hammock on the mirror, but I'm getting curious. I'm gonna see what happens. Walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. You truly don't see it. This really isn't funny. The mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Why is my hand... Okay, did he possess me again? Because... Or do I look like a monster? But it was there a second ago. And now it's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Maybe it'll be back. Getting weird. I'm gonna take the blade and you get take to the, the basement. Blade from the table. <laughs> it will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It's getting idea. fun, dude. Much better to be armed than to go in with blind hope alone. Enter the basement. I'm curious to see the princess. And do I actually look like a monster? The basement creaks open, revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. <laughs> Does she remember us? I think so. You walk down the stairs and lock <laughs> eyes with the princess. She looks up at you, the heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves, the chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. It's getting interesting, holy crap. So much for cutting her out of here. Yeah, so the... It's different, you yeah. Right now. Cutting her out of here never should have been on the table. 
you forced me to do that. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. You're gonna get. That was the last time too, wasn't it? It was. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. Sit with her. You step towards the princess, but she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. There's fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. I feel like it just being played. But I want to sit here. I want to respect. You do as she asks the... and sit on the floor, still a good distance away from her. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? Truly, I've got no intentions for you. I'm just feeling confused and weirded out, and I want to understand what's going on. That other chain on the wall. Who is it for? I don't know, but you could always try it on. Maybe it'll fit. And now it's more creepy. Ah, shit. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. <laughs> we need you ambulatory <laughs> if you're going to save the world. Okay, narrator. I'm stupid, but not that stupid, okay? If I inspect the shackle, she's gonna put it on me, right? I've been here up before. Am I the only one who remembers that? Oh, are we acknowledging that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But yeah, I remember. Okay, 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 okay. What okay. back in the woods really was true. So you killed me, and you're more locked up. Can you give me an explanation? As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated things. You knew, you bastard! It's complicated things. How, exactly? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. A contingency okay. for what? For you failing, <laughs> obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else, I'm just going to make it worse. Just... Good luck. Okay. Now hold on, if you knew this could happen, why didn't you believe us back in the woods? Why lay out all those hypotheticals? We didn't have to talk in circles. Skeptic, you're sounding a little bit menacing. I just want to chill out. I needed you to believe this was your first time here, even if that wasn't the truth. I hoped if I pushed back hard enough, I could cram this seeping mess back into the bottle. And okay. maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. That you're an asshole that possessed me and, and ultimately got me killed? That's yeah. pathetic. I yep. never said I wasn't. Now I get in sympathy for the narrator, I come on. It. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Apparently all remember what happened before. Exactly, he gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. Alright? Fuck off, narrator. Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? Question. The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. So are we slowly getting crazy about it? Your okay. success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. I won't. Thank you, Skeptic. Fine, but you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. I hope I hope that I'm not sounding like a skeptic because he sounds like a dick. <laughs> Just give it a rest. This isn't helping. Thank you, hero. 
I'm sympathizing with the hero now. What the hell is going on with me? Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. What happened after I died last time? Okay. Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. Okay. And now you're back. <laughs> is that really all she knows? It's Curious. not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. You're yeah, looking not sure at me about like that. I might be hiding something. I'm not. <laughs> I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why or how. Okay. So it's not giving me the option like to do anything about it. Mm. What would you help me do? Let me borrow that knife. Not gonna happen. Don't worry, you'll get it back. That's ominous, but she seems confident. <laughs> Whatever it is she has planned, I think she knows what she's doing. Oh, please, she's just putting on an act to disarm you. That much should be obvious. In case you need to hear a voice of reason, it would obviously be unwise to give away your only weapon. Though if True. she isn't bluffing, whatever she has planned might be for her benefit alone. There's no guarantee that what's good for her is good for us. I mean, I'm getting like... He's reading my thoughts. It's... Um, am I that predictable as a person? So, what should we do? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just spelling out our options, listing the pros and cons. Thank you. Then let me help you. I'll start with the cons. If you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she might use it to escape and end the entire world. And she might use it to kill you. That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? <laughs> That's the fuck off. There are none. Yeah. <laughs> the pros are that we can't trust him, possibly even more than we can't trust her. And whatever she has planned could do something to mess with what he has planned. Mm. Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. True. True about that. You realize that I have as much reason to distrust you as you have to distrust me, right? I do. So I guess this all comes down to which of us caves first. And it's not going to be me. Mm. I'm extremely patient. It's probably uh -huh, very funny. Action anyway. No use trying to wait her out. That's playing to her strengths. It sounds stupid. I don't want to give her my knife. I think I'm going to leave you here, actually. You are not much of a threat to anyone locked up. Ah, uh, do I leave? I, mean, I, I can leave, I can cut her out or give her my weapon. <sighs> Shit, I... In this situation, I don't trust the narrator. I don't trust her. Although she hasn't done anything bad so far. The narrator just got me killed and possessed my body. And there is something weird about the room and the shackle and the mirror. Let me ask her if she wants me to cut her out of here. The last time we met, your body tried to kill me. Sure. If you take a moment to imagine yourself in my position, I think you'll understand why letting you near me with that thing is untenable. Man, I hate how reasonable she is. Okay. So, be a good bird and hand it over. And if being nice isn't enough motivation, well, I think you're aware that I'm not afraid to resort to violence. If You're getting you cocky. Me with that thing, I will strangle you with these chains. She doesn't beat around the bush, does she? <laughs> yes, it's nope. almost like she's a fundamentally bad person who wishes to inflict pain on others. We don't know that narrator. Or it's another bluff. Hmm. No hard feelings, of course. But you should be aware of my position. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. 
As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated things. Okay, um... I'm considering anything, everything that's happening. What, what, what I'm not sure is to is sure I should leave. Because I really want to leave. But I want to expect the shackle. I think I'm going to expect the shackle. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Thank you, narrator. And why is that? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle, and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? Mm. And what? Is it going to <laughs> lock the second we put our wrist into it? Okay, wait, I was inspecting the shackle, not put it in my wrist. I don't know. Maybe it will. He doesn't want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. <laughs> but what if he's telling the truth? He isn't. I don't agree with you, Skeptic. I don't I know am. what's going on. Chat, I'm going to spec the shackle. Against your better judgment, you approach the chain dangling from the far wall. The princess watches you with faux disinterest as you inspect it, though she can't fully hide her curiosity. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. What is that supposed to mean? It sounds bad. Is it bad? Yes, it's bad. Okay, <laughs> okay. Well, what's gonna happen? Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. Fine. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands, snapping around your neck. What? And, as if your situation weren't bad enough, the same magnetism repels your blade, which is flung from your hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. Um, excuse me? <laughs> yeah. Yes? Are we stuck here now? Yes. Yes. Okay, how was I supposed to know that this was... Apparently magnetized. Huh, so it does fit. And I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? That's funny. What are we supposed to do now? Die. And cut ourselves out. Guess we'll starve. Star. That's yeah. horrible. Hero. Ah. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece of information. Not to touch things we're specifically told not to touch. Yeah, sarcastic asshole. No, that there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. Also true. Hmm. Do you know that this was going to happen? No. Okay. You and silence. the princess wait in silence, though neither of you knows what you're waiting for. But you're waiting for something. You're waiting for anything. This is so boring. Shut up, hero. There must be something we can do to get out of here. There must be something we're missing. But there isn't. Time passes. It okay. passes and passes and passes. And the basement of the cabin remains much the same. It is cold and silent. At least the world is safe. Is it though? It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. But she's not ending anything. She's just sitting there. Her very existence is a threat. It harms everything around it. How exactly does that work? My question is exactly. just does. Don't be like that, narrator. But your line of questioning <laughs> is interrupted by the passage of even more time. And <laughs> after that, even more time passes again. <laughs> alright, alright. 
And let me guess, the cabin remains the same. Yeah. If time is passing, the cabin can't be the same. Even if the differences are small, they have to exist. That's just how things work. Being, being what, minutes? Hours? Couple days, maybe? I suppose you're correct. Things are changing. The differences are small at first, a bit of weathering here, a bit of erosion there. But then they get larger. And larger. I need to wait in silence. I don't want I don't want to talk to her right now. I just want to see what's going on. Oh man. Okay. You continue to wait in silence, and the cabin continues to change. The decay comes faster now. You can see earth through holes in the stonework, can watch lichen spread along the seams of the walls. I was gonna say like this, like perhaps like like roots or trees or something, but yeah. So are we gonna wait here for the rest of our of the existence? That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happened to starving? We should have died by now if the rocks around us are starting to erode. She hasn't starved. Shut up, hero. I guess she hasn't. Yeah. Crap. Even more silent time passes as you watch roots push themselves through the increasingly porous walls of the basement. Dirt seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a liquid, covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Time continues to pass, and pass, and pass. Until suddenly, there are no walls. And then... And? I think he's gone. Okay. Would you look at that? We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. Okay, the music isn't helping. So this is the outside world. It's cold. Hell, the mirror. She's gone. W where did she go? <laughs> Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Uh. I need to approach the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. The mirror never scared you before. You approach the mirror. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Fear. Shit. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you breathe forward, you're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what it's in what's in it. It's you. And you're alone in a place that it's empty. It is quiet here. What? Proceed to the cabin, I guess. And what the hell? You're at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's. Uh, <laughs> the princess? Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. What are you? Wait, were you always the princess, or are you just, just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles, 
Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? I guess not. What do you mean by the gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is cold and cynical. She has protected herself when others could not. She will make for a clever heart. Do not mourn her. She doesn't need to be protected any longer. Good. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. We are also. oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Do you know about the words beyond this place? I know only that they are. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what brought me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. What do you mean about perspectives? Do you mean like endings? How many pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. So confused. I was sent to slay the princess, to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. Whatever, let it be. I guess, uh... Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Everything goes dark and you die. What a fucking fuck. I think I'm gonna end it here for, for what it is right now, my first playthrough of Slay the Princess. I know it's more out there, so I, I really want to find out about everything about this game. So, I mean, <clears throat> talking seriously, I didn't play anything before starting, and the story, it's kind of, it's, I mean, the story is good, I'm not gonna, the, the story is great so far, there are like so many mysteries, so, oh man. <laughs> I like it. I, I I liked it a lot. I I want to show you this to you guys so you can appreciate and, and enjoy what we have found so far. And you can expect another episode like right away. This has been Man, this has been so good. I I, I wasn't expecting it to be so good. Um Hell. <laughs> hell man. Uh, that's gonna be all for this episode of Slay the Princess. If you liked it, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game, if I missed something. Try to not spoil, spoil anything, because I, I really want to enjoy the story of this game. 
but um, give me some suggestions in the comments below. Again, thank you for watching, thank you for being so awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>